This video is instruction on creating and sharing a Google Doc. Uh, I am going to be using a uh, PowerPoint uh, full, a folder that I have posted uh, on the Fusion page under Documents. Um, I'll skip over some of the pages because I'm going to be explaining what we're doing. If you get it all confused, certainly go back to uh, the, the file section of the Fusion page uh, and open this document. It is there both in PowerPoint format and uh, PDF format. But at any rate, this is, these are the steps you need to follow to create, uh, name, and share a Google Doc. So here we go. Uh, the first thing you want to do is to open Chrome. I suggest you use Chrome uh, and not Internet Explorer. There have been some issues with Internet Explorer not connecting properly, and basically uh, uh, Google Apps just simply blinking at you and not doing anything. So I would use Chrome. Um, so uh, what you do is you open Chrome, then you go to the Fusion Class page you'll click on the Google Apps link, which is on the right-hand side, down towards the bottom. You can see that right there. Uh, once you have done that, you're going to get a login page. You'll enter your username, which is your Google Apps email. And if you remember correctly, uh, it's your last name, followed by the first two letters of your first name. So if your name is Hugo Girl, uh, you are going to log in as G-U-R-L-H-U at rrmiddleschool.org. That's R-R-M-I-D-D-L-E-S-C-H-O-O-L dot org. And then you enter your password. You created your password when you created your account. Uh, and that's what you put in there and you click log in. Now, for some reason, you've forgotten your password or you've lost where you wrote it down. You need to come and see me um, before school, after school, or if we have an opportunity in class, during class, so that I can reset your password. Once you click log in, uh, you're going to be looking at a page something like this. Now, you'll notice that it says mail up here in the upper left. Sometimes it takes you right to the Gmail page. That's not where you want to be. So you go up here to where these little boxes are, and you click on those, you'll get this drop down, and then you click on Drive. Once you've done that, that will take you to a page that looks something like this. Although it will only have uh, your, uh, uh, your documents on it. Uh, to start a new document, you click on New, and then you click on Google Docs. Once you've done that, it will open up a new document. Notice up here it says Untitled Document. If you remember correctly, we're very particular about the way that we title these things. And so it has to be done right. So you click on that, and this is the naming process. You always name your documents like this. There are three, uh, three parts to it. The first is the block number. If you're in the first block, number one, second block, number two, etc. Then the name of the document. That's a name I have given you, and it should also be listed on the Fusion page um, on the assignment. And then your last name, uh, with a couple of instances where I have two people with the same last name, you're adding your uh, first initial there. So uh, this would be an example. If I was in the eighth block, the assignment name is SA1, and this is Hugo Girl. Girl is the last name. It's going to look like that. Notice that there is a space between the block number and the document title. There's no space within the document title. There is a space between the document title and the last name. Uh, that is for several reasons. Number one, if I want to uh, pull up all of the SA1s out of 8th block, I will simply type into my search screen 8 space SA1, and if you have titled your document something different than that, uh, I will not see it. 
if in addition to that uh, we are looking for a document that you say you have done and you have left out let's say this space here and I type in your last name as G-U-R-L this document will not come up so uh, this titling process is very important uh, nothing that can't be corrected if you make a mistake but uh, it's simple enough and you should be able to get it right and so that's how you title them and uh, then you want to click on the document and type in the text notice that the title is up here 8 first McRuffle and then here is where McRuffle will type uh, his text and uh, once he has done that he needs to share it you look at the share button in the upper right of the screen which is right here and um, a box will pop up and you'll want to type in my Google email and this is it mrflorer at rrmiddleschool.org and that's how you share all of your documents with me and so this is the share box notice that here's where my email is want to make sure that says can edit so I can put comments on your paper and then you click the send and then you are finished and uh, you have done the job successfully I hope this has been helpful thank you